morning. Today is Saturday, October 15th, 2022, and it is day number 280 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 127.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 126.4 pounds. So, I have lost 8 tenths of a pound since yesterday, and a total of 92.6 pounds since the start of my fasting journey. So right now, I am doing rolling 72s. I am in round 72, and I'm about 49 hours in. So this means that I have a refeed scheduled for tomorrow. And um, there's like a rumor I heard that my mom might consider making a meal for my brother and his children tomorrow because his wife is out of town. And so my mom might, you know, help out with dinner tomorrow. And if that's the case, then I definitely plan on inviting myself to that meal. Um, and it will work out for me as well because my brother is doing keto right now. And so um, I know that, you know, my mom will make a nice keto meal for him and his children. And so I'm kind of like holding out hope that that's what she does tomorrow. But if, you know, it turns out that she is not going to like be making a meal for them, then I will just, you know, make a meal for myself um, at my regularly scheduled time, which is tomorrow morning. Morning. and as of yet I don't know what that meal would be um, but I do know that when I have a refeed that hits on the weekend um, I usually you know make much better meals because I'm not in a rush and I'm able to you know go slowly and take my time and so um, I'll let you know in tomorrow's video what I ultimately decide on doing for my meal but anyways, um, in today's video, I wanted to answer a question that I get asked often, and that is how much water do I drink on fasting days? And so basically how much water I drink just kind of like depends on basically the time of year it is and what my physical activity is. So um, when I first started my fasting journey, um, basically I was, you know, just kind of like drinking water for the sake of drinking water because I was trying to make up for the fact that I was kind of like without food. And so I would drink water when I was hungry and drink water when I was thirsty. And um, at, that worked out, you know, when I first started, but at some point, um, I started making myself sick, you know, just drinking water for the sake of drinking water. And I also started to, you know, have struggles on the scale as well. Um, you know, I'd like see a lot of water weight gain. And so um, that's when I kind of like decided that I'm just going to drink water when I'm thirsty or if I'm feeling hungry. And so during the winter, with the weather being, you know, a lot cooler, it, with me being like very like inactive, I was drinking between 16 ounces to 32 ounces of water a day. And there were a few days, you know, in, during my 40 day water fast where I took MAGO7, which is an oxygen based colon cleanser to kind of like clean my colon out. And on those days when I took MAGO7, I had to drink a, a lot of water because, um, you know, cleaning out my colon that was really like dehydrating and so I drank a lot of water on those days but then you know during the summer I was drinking like a lot of water I was drinking between 64 ounces to a gallon of water a day and that is because I was spending a lot of time outside um, you know doing exercise I was getting in 15,000 steps and um, I would usually like for 5,000 of those steps wear my 30 pound weighted vest and so basically all, all of those steps I was getting in outside in the heat so I was doing a lot of sweating and so um, that's why I was drinking so much water and in addition to getting my steps in I was also using my whole body vibration machine up to six sessions a day like 10 minute sessions um, and so I was also doing either yoga or calinetics and um, plank pose and so I definitely you know required a lot more water in the summer but here we are it's kind of like the fall time the weather is a little bit cooler and i have totally and completely dropped the ball with my exercise and i definitely intend on you know getting back on track with my exercise but i just haven't been you know motivated to do it so as a result of me kind of like being a little bit inactive right now um i don't really require as much water as i was drinking during the summer and so i just drink anywhere between 32 ounces to 64 ounces of water a day. 
And so with the exception of one to two cups of plain ice water, all the water that I drink um, has electrolytes in it. And I use Cole Robinson's recipe for making electrolytes these days. And so in my video for day 226, I make his recipe. And I think I also have like a playlist for, you know, the electrolyte recipe in case you're interested um, in, you know, seeing how to make electrolytes. And so, um, Basically, the reason why I maybe have like one to two cups of ice water each day is because I do kind of like get drink, uh, get, you know, tired of drinking, you know, salty water, you know, all the time. And so sometimes it's just nice to have a cup or two of plain water. So that's why I do that. But anyways, um, so basically that's kind of like, you know, my water intake. And like I said, I just drink when I'm feeling thirsty because, you know, at the beginning of the year when I was drinking water just for the sake of drinking water, um, that didn't really work out for me. I was making myself sick and I was also seeing, you know, um, huge amounts of uh, weight gain on the scale the next day because of, you know, all the water weight. And so... Um, these days, you know, just drinking when I'm thirsty kind of like suits me and just works well for me. So it's something that I definitely continue, will continue on doing. And so um, anyhow, that's my video for today. Um, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Saturday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.